thanks for watching the DIY Daddy channel. My name is Don. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to piggyback an electrical outlet. Um, this is not hooking an outlet directly up to uh, the main panel. This is just showing you how to um, set up an outlet after an outlet that's already live. Uh, so first thing first, um, if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. Um, make sure that the power is shut off. Um, so you need to go to your main panel. Break, uh, turn the power off to that string of outlets, and if you don't know which one it is, shut off the main power before you do anything. Uh, make sure you test it with something before you start trying to uh, mess with the wiring. Um, and I do believe that's it. All right. So the tools we're going to need are fairly simple. We're going to need a pair of cable cutters, screwdriver, flathead, needle nose pliers, wire strippers, and a utility knife. So, uh, what I've got here is I've strung up um, a bunch of outlets in my garage. Um, I'll give you an example of what this is used for. So, I started off I put in that outlet and then the one right there I hooked up that outlet over there, and the last one in the series is going to be this outlet over here, um, which is going to be uh, then hooked up to a live outlet. Up there. Alright, so it's all piggybacked. Um, so that's, that's going to be the dangerous part up there, is hooking it up to that outlet that's already hooked up to the main panel. But if you shut the power off um, at the panel, you should be fine. So the first thing you got to do is you got to strip the wire. So you're going to take your utility knife, go lengthwise, about three or four inches. All right. Peel all this paper and stuff back. And trim that off. All right, so now you're left with your black, your white, and your ground. All right. Now on an outlet, all outlets are the same. This is just a standard outlet because it's in the garage. If you were doing this in the bathroom or kitchen, you would uh, need a, a GFI outlet. Um, so the main thing to remember on these outlets is black goes on brass. You're looking at the color of the screw. So black goes on brass, silver, um, white goes on silver, right? Then this green one over here uh, is ground. You can think of you know, the green grass on the ground, right? So hooking this up is pretty simple. You have two screws on each side. So you've got one for your power coming in and one screw for the line going out if you have one. So because this is in a, a series, um, we're going to be using both screws. So first thing you want to do is take your, your wires and this is 14 gauge, I'm using 14 too, uh, which is a good wire to use for this. Um, you want to strip off the top 3 quarter inch of the shielding. All right. And you take a pair of needle nose pliers, you put it right on the tip and curl it down. Kind of make like a little um, cane looking thing. All right. That is to wrap around the screw on the outlet piece and to help keep it snug so it doesn't get loose. You don't want it to, to get loose. All right. So, um, actually in this one, because we're piggybacking it, the ground wire, which is the, the exposed copper wire, I'm not going to be bending that one uh, because we need to, because we're piggybacking it, we need to hook another wire to this with a third wire coming out to go to the ground because both wires won't fit under that screw. Alright, so black on brass. We need a screwdriver, loosen that up.
All right. So you got the little wire over the screw. Now you just want to tighten it up. Make sure that the the loop on the wire is going in the same direction that you turn the screw to tighten it. Make sure you tighten it well, but be careful that you're not pushing too hard on the screwdriver to tighten it because it's easy for it to slip and go into your hand. So now we're going to put the white on. So if you, if you notice, I use the same the two top screws. The next one will be the two bottom ones. All right. So now I've got this exposed ground wire right here. So what I'm going to do next, the wire that's supposed to be coming off and going up to the live outlet, I'm going to run through the game box. <coughs> I'm going to do the same thing with the stripping. Right, so I'm going to get about three or four inches of it there. Strip up. Peel back. Get that paper at the same time. Trim it off. Slice away from you so you don't cut yourself. All right. So I got these three wires. And again, we're going to take our wire strippers and 14 gauge wires. So we're going to use the 14 in the stripper, about three quarter an inch. Pull that off. Use our needle nose pliers to run the tops. Alright, so now we're going to make sure that we're using the right side of the outlet. So again, black on brass. Alright, and then tighten that screw up again. process on the white side. What we're left with are these two ground wires over here and one screw. Now they're not both going to fit under there so what we do is we take a piece of leftover wire again about you know, four inches long. We're going to strip off Three quarter inch off of each end. So we have a piece that looks like this. All right. Now we take a wire nut. When you're buying your wire nuts, make sure you buy the right size. This is a 14 2, so it has to have um, a minimum and a maximum that's within that range. And that's listed right on the wire nuts. So now we're going to take those two loose ground wires over here. We're going to put them together. Add our third piece that we trimmed. And we're going to take our wire nut. Put them over. And screw them all on. Keep screwing until that wire nut won't go anymore. Alright. So now... We have the two grounds that are attached to just one wire that will fit under that ground screw. So again, we turn the tip, 
put it under that ground wire, and then screw it tight. So when you're finished, when you're finished with your outlet, what you're going to have is both white wires on the same side with the silver screws. On the other side, you're going to have both black wires with the brass screws. You're going to have two ground wires joined to a third one going into the green screw, right? And then all we do is we pull this back into the gang box nice and neat, keep it tight, and then screw it right into the gang box. And there you go, the outlet's wired. So from there, I've got uh, my roll of wire that's then to be run up the wall and then up to that outlet on the ceiling. All right, so that's it for putting in the uh, piggyback outlet. Um, make sure that you wait until everything is all done before you turn the power back on and you should be good to go. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you don't feel comfortable doing this, this is, well, I should make sure that you, I mentioned, you don't try this at home. Um, if you try this at home, you take full responsibility for whatever happens. Uh, don't be afraid to call a professional electrician. And I guess that's it. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.